my interest over the past uh, 15 years has been focused uh, mostly on network design and multimodal transportation of uh, different types of freight, uh, including dangerous goods and humanitarian relief supplies, and also disruption in transportation system. Uh, we have a situation in the sense that uh, that the uh, basically the oil sands and the shale formation region in the continent it is landlocked. So the only way to move these shipments to the refineries, only viable way to move these shipments to the refineries is using railroads. Now railroad does present this uh, flexibility of connecting the production point to the refineries, but it does have some inherent risk as was evident in the lac megantic catastrophic sort of basic, basic train episode in 2013. And there have been many uh, minor episodes since. So one of the things that I have focused over the past 15 years is think about risk assessment and risk management, specifically for uh, dangerous goods shipment it could be railroads, it could be marine transportation or intramodal shipments. Uh, most recently, what, what we have done is we have the, taken the commodity flow survey data, which is at the national level, and we have developed a data-driven technique, which, which, which sort of disaggregates that sort of consolidated data and provides us information at the link level in the sense that it gives us information about every rail track and every rail yard across the country. And we have recreated that network in ArcGIS. So, so we are able to actually go in and, and estimate the values with reasonable certainty uh, about what is the hazmat volume going through Hamilton. Once I have information about hazmat volume or dangerous goods volume, I can combine that with information about population densities and environmental sort of issues around that. It could be marine life, it could be sort of property damage, which allows us to develop what, what, what are called a risk profile for every track and every yard across the country. It allows us to have an idea about what are the hotspots across the country. And based on that information, I can deploy appropriate emergency response resources across the country. So what we have done is we have an, an optimization, pro, a separate optimization program, which takes these risk profile as inputs. And then we are able to recommend where should you uh, locate an emergency response facility and what kind of equipment needs to be stockpiled at those facilities so that these facilities or the emergency response network can respond to railroad incidents appropriately. And we have done an extensive study for the province of Ontario, wherein we have, we have basically showed the actual locations and the type of equipment that you need.